What's up guys, Matt Miles here, and as you guys see, we got ourselves free agency promo part two. We're gonna be going over it right now with the new solos. Now you're able to get your free 96 overall Matt and also Tom Brady and Byron Jones. So let's head over now to free agency week two. As you guys see here, we got ourselves Tom Brady as the master for offense, which I saw coming from a mile away to be honest, and Byron Jones, who honestly, is it a shock? No. Because he's the second highest paid defensive player right now besides Clowney, who we're waiting on. But anyways, we got those the heroes in Melvin Gordon, Robbie Anderson, Brian Beluga, uh, Gerald McCoy, Von Bell, and Joe Schobert. Now, if you guys are wondering, it's the same process as last time. But if you guys do not know, to add these cards in, you need 90 to 94 overall cards. Any of them, so it be from the first batch or the second batch. And the same thing with the 87 to 89 to complete this card. Say for Robbie Ains, for example. Now, what you can do, the difference though is that you need the week two ones, which is the ones I just showed you, to complete Tom Brady or Byron Jones. Here's one of them right now in Robbie Anderson. We got saw stats yesterday, so I'm not gonna make it really um what's it called? That like quick, but he's got 96 speed, 95 catch, 89 catch and traffic, 95 spec, 97 deep, 91 medium with 92 short. I just know I'm just gonna run through them quick. That's what I meant. Sorry about that. As you guys see right there, though, I do have Robbie down there. But this isn't comparing that to Torrey Holt and Calvin Johnson. Robbie is just a speed demon, though. Unfortunately, though, he's going to Carolina, which sucks for us Jeff fans. But we did sign up a shot Perriman, so hopefully that can help us out with that. And also, let's see what we can do, though, in the draft. But that's off that topic. We'll talk about that later. Melvin Gordon, he now has the Denver Bronco chemistry. So he signed there earlier in the week. He's got himself 93 speed, 91 excel, 92 agility, 91 looseness with... 82 trucking, 95 carrying, 69 catching, and 93 break tackle. Gonna go pay him right now to Eric Dickerson and Le'Veon Bell. Melvin going to my line, which will be a number two back, and that's it. And Eric Dickerson, he's just a glitch in this game. It's really not even funny. Friends, if you've seen Eric Dickerson, you already know what's gonna happen. Here's the next one now going to the Jazz. Joe Sherbert, who I thought the Browns were gonna retain because he played very well. He's got 87 speed, 91 excel with 99 play rec, 80 strength, 88 block shedding with 90 hit power, 91 tackle with 85 zone coverage. Going to compare him right now to Ryan Chazier and Patrick Willis. I don't really see him fit in my lineup because where would he be? He'd be where Devin Bush is and Brian Urlacher. And these two never see the field. It's always these two or my safeties, one or the other. So him in my lineup would be completely useless. But if you're on a Jags or Browns team, you guys know you can go get him. Von Bell. He's got himself 92 speed, 98 play right, 92 zone, 90 man, 88 tackle, 94 excel with 95 without 95 fail. 85 pursuit with 89 hit power. Gonna go back to Pat Tillman and Taylor Mays. Again, this is another card I do not see hitting my lineup, even though he does have 98 play rec. Taylor Mays is my user, so and he is just a god in this game. I don't care what anybody tells me. Night Train Lane's good, but Taylor Mays, in my opinion, is the best user card in the game. And then there's Pat Tillman, who's a free 99 overall language from playing the game. So, either way, I don't see myself replacing my strong stage for a long, long time. Gerald McCoy's got an uh, 71 speed, 85 excel, 93 strain, 91 block shit, 88 power move, 96 tackle with 95 play rec, and 76 finesse move. Comparing right now to Warren Sapp and Forrest Buckner. As you see, though, I have him down here as well. I can pretty much see him being a, um, what is it? He can be like a number three guy, which is where I have him right now, Gerald McCoy. This is how I can see myself using him. Brian Beluga, right tackle. He's got 91 strain, 99 awareness with 95 pass block and pass block power, 93 pass block finesse. 87 run block and run block fin uh, run block power with 83 run block finesse. Comparing him right now to Ryan Ranschek. Ryan Ranschek is just way better than him. I changed his card out a little bit though because I forgot he had this art to so see maybe we'll help him play a bit better. Even though that's probably going to make no difference. But hey, if it went out, try a glitchy art. But pretty much, if you're rocking a Chargers or uh, Packers team, Brian Beluga obviously would be perfect for your team. But Brian Beluga is more of a passing tackle than a run blocking tackle. Ryan Ranchex is right there in the middle between both, and I like either way. And he has 99 awareness, so it don't matter to me. I think that's all of them. Yes, it is. That's all of them that you need to complete Tom Brady and Byron Jones. And actually right now, EA did tweet this out, though, because I'm pretty sure you guys are curious on how you're going to complete Byron Jones if you didn't do the journeys. You are now able to... What is it? You are now able to... Um, you're able to bypass it with training. And I'll pull up after the tweet right now, quick, if I can. So sweet, you guys can know. Give me one second. Uh, here we go. 
For the Byron Jones to go past him, since he's a 91 overall, you would need 68-40 training. And if you guys also want to do Michael Thomas, and you don't have that card, if you quick sold it already or whatever you've done with it, it costs about 25-70 training. So you can now bypass both Journey Masters with training. Probably when the new one comes out, you're not going to be able to do that. Now, unfortunately, the house rules is done. I could not complete it. I was so close. I got 20 wins in one day. And the reason why, because work has been a hell of a drug for me. And what I mean by that is I've been working crazy hours. So I never had the time until last night. So we're going to head right out to free agency right now. Actually, no, we're going to head to the solos. Because now you will get another 100 solos to be able to complete it. As you see, I am halfway done because I've been playing these. So in my opinion, I like these better, y'all. I've been knocking them out with five stars left and right. But just like last time, though, it's the same thing. If you get 120 stars, you'll get a free 96 nat. And you'll get an 87 nat for getting all 200. Now, if I know most of us, we're all going to go for the 96. But if you guys are grinders, you're definitely going for the whole thing. Now, let's just head over to the auction house because we're going to go look at Byron Joe's and TB12 before I let you guys go. I do have a pack opening coming out later and also showing you how me completing Tom Brady. So I will show you guys that. But let's go over right now to the stats for him. So let us head over to where is it? There we go. I'm going to head over to 9899s, and here is Tom Brady. He's got 65 speed, 94 throw power, 99 short, 98 medium, 92 deep with 97 play rec. I uh, mean, play action, my mistake. With 82 throw on the run, with 93 under pressure. I swear that I do have him at a 99. Like I said, I do have him completed with 99 uh, medium, short, 98 play action, with 83 on the run, 94 under pressure, 93 deep with 95 throw power. Um. That's him also, though, compared to Phillip Rivers. I'm using Tom Brady, though. I do like the way he plays. He plays very well for me. Especially, though, now with the 99 short and medium. That's going to help us out a lot. And there's only one thing, though, I hate about this Byron Jones. We're checking out right now. This is who they're comparing him to. He has 95 speed, 97 excel, 99 agility, 99 jumping, 96 play rec, 98 zone, 92 man, with 98 press. I'm going to compare him to Night Train Lane, which... Honestly, he is a bit faster than him. I do like that. But Night Train Lane, though, makes a hell of a lot of plays. He's a lot better than him, in my opinion. Jalen Ramsey, he looks a lot better than him. Actually, no, they look actually about the same card. Yeah, they look like the same card, except also Ramsey has the 99 man. And he has 97 zones, so he can get 99-99. But Byron Jones is just a little bit higher in jumping, agility, and excel. That's really it. And the guy they were comparing him to was this guy. They were saying he was Deion Sanders with press. Um, I don't see it. You tell, you guys tell me. Let me know in the comments. Do you see it? I don't see it at all. Because last time I checked, though, Deion Sanders has 99 speed, agility, and excel. Byron Jones has 95, 97, 99. Power him up. Unless you have a Cowboys or a Dolphins theme team, then yes, I can see that. But I'm talking about for a guy that doesn't, do, that doesn't have a theme team, I don't see it. He's 99 jumping compared to 96 is a lot better. One player like higher. He, Dion has way more men. And the only difference is that um, the press, really. That's it. The zone coverage, I don't see. I think Dion, I can get that up to a 99, though, but I'm not sure. So I think he already has, what is it, plus three with zone, with lockdown? I don't know. Let's look at it later. But, yeah, he has a 98 zone when he's powered up. And Byron Jones is starting to sell like hot, hot cakes right now. But that's because now everyone's trying to get him done. But anyways, that is free agency part two. If you guys are grinding it out, let me know in the comments of who you're getting and if you're getting the masters. Let me know how you're making your coins. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do me a favor and leave a like. Subscribe if you want new. Turn on the bell so you guys know whenever I post a new video. Follow my Twitter. My link will always be in the description below. I hope everyone has a great day and it's safe right now. But yeah, I'm out, guys.